Hello and welcome to my channel. Today's video we are going to be making these little bean bag pocket bears. Um, I've also um, worked it up in the blanket yarn so you can see what that would look like if you want to choose a thicker yarn. It is all no sew except for the embroidery on his their little faces. Um, you can make these little keychains or I've since realized oh, they could be little little puppets. Or even um, this one could be like a little holder for your cell phone. You may have to add an extra row um, on the body if you want to do that. Whoops. And I will be showing you a couple of ways to um, close it up. You can either um, like this one make it flat on the bottom or you can make it just a square like a bean bag. Whoops. This video is a crochet along, so I do do every stitch with you. Um, and then there's also a little drop down menu up along the top um, for each row. And if you enjoy my videos, don't forget to um, hit the subscribe button and you will be notified every time I upload a new video. As well as you can always leave me a thumbs up or a comment. Okay, let's get started. Okay, to begin, you are just going to make a knot with a loop on the end. And then you are going to chain 10. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Now starting in the second chain from the hook, you are gonna do nine single crochets all the way down this chain. Um, so this is the, ch the chain on your hook, this is your first chain, and then this will be your second chain right here. And I like to put a stitch marker in um, when I'm doing um, crochet on both sides of the chain just so I can remember where that is. So one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, and then in this last stitch, you're going to put your ninth um, single crochet. Then you're going to spin your um, work around. So you're now working on the bottom side of the chain you just made. And in that same stitch, you are going to put one single crochet. And then we are going to do what I call the um, four double crochet cluster in the next stitch. And if this is going to be the hardest um, row right going across. So if you can't, um, for some reason, figure out this next stitch, you can just put a single crochet in here. And the next one we do on this side, a single crochet, and then just follow the pattern as we do the rest. Okay, so wrap your yarn around your hook, go into that next stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through, you'll have three loops on your hook. Grab your yarn and go through the first two 
loops but leave the last one on the hook and then we are going to do that a total of four times so we have one wrap your yarn around your hook go in that same stitch grab your yarn pull up and through you'll have four loops and go through the first two and you'll have three loops on your hook so that's two of them so we'll do another one um, yarn over in, into your stitch grab your yarn pull up and through you now have five loops on your hook grab your yarn and go through those first two loops and then you'll have four so we've done three we have one more for our fourth one wrap around go in and through grab your yarn pull up and you'll now have one two three four five six loops on your hook grab your yarn you're going to go through the first two you now have five loops and now you're going to grab your yarn and you're going to pull through all five of those loops and then that will make your first ear and then we are going to go into this next stitch and we are going to make um, five single crochets across so one two three four five we should have two stitches left so we are going to do um this four double crochet cluster into this next stitch that's one two three and four and then pull through two and then pull through all all five and then you put your um, last stitch right here and make sure your little ears are going to be puffed up to the outside and you can get that a little tug if you need to okay so that's round one and that was the hardest round for rounds two to five we are just going to do 18 single crochets all the way around and i'm just going to flip my stitch marker as we hit 18 every time so one two three four five oops six seven eight nine Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And 18 now if for some reason you um, went in the wrong stitch going around and you have more or less than 18 on your next row just in the back somewhere um, that'll be this side just add an increase or a decrease evenly somewhere okay so that was row two so row three do another 18 single crochets one two three four five six 
seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 18. Round four, we are just going to do another 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And our fifth row, another 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. Okay, for row six, we are going to do the arms. And if you're using the puffier, thick yarn, just keep in mind that I did have to adjust one stitch over so I could keep the arms on both sides. So just watch where your arms are falling. Um, it could be okay, and I might have just done that a little differently because I'm not used to that thicker yarn. Okay, so we're going to do one single crochet. And then we are going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And in the second chain from the hook, we are going to do a, um, a puff stitch of three. So yarn over into your chain, grab your yarn and pull up through. Same thing, yarn over, go into that stitch, grab your yarn, pull up and through and yarn over into that stitch grab your yarn and pull up and through and then you are just going to pull your um, yarn through all of those loops and then we're going to slip stitch down the side here so going in the next stitch one two three now depending on where you went in here you might have five it really isn't going to matter a lot as long as all your arms are kind of the same okay now we're going to do eight single crochets so in the next stitch one two three four 
five, six, seven, and eight. And then we are gonna do our next arm. So we're gonna chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're gonna do our cluster stitch again of three. So yarn over in your chain, pull up and through, yarn over in your chain, pull up and through and yarn over into your chain, pull up and through, and then go through all those stitches. And then slip stitch um, however many you had in the other one. So one, two, three, and four. And then we should have nine single crochets left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And this is your back, so just turn around to the front and check that your arms are kind of even on the sides. And that looks okay, so we will go on to the next round. So for row 7 to 11, it's just going to be 18 single crochets all the way around. So one. And then you're going to go around your arm and behind this first single crochet in front of your arm. Two. So it looks like that. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, and then you're going to go around this arm behind this first single crochet. Oops. If you can get your arm out of the way, it works a little better. So, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Row eight, just eighteen single crochets all the way around. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. For row nine, just another 18 single crochets. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, 
10, another 18 single crochets around, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And row 11, 18 single crochets all the way around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, and 18. Okay, now we're going to do the leg row and just keep in mind um, again, make sure your stitches are, um, if they're not the same as mine, that the legs are coming in the front. So you want your single crochet about here and your last single crochet here when you go to do the legs. So for me, it's three single crochets. <clears throat> One, two, and three. You can just check that that's in the front like this and then you'll start your leg six single crochets one or chains I mean two three four five six and then you are going to make your puff stitch in the second um, chain from the hook so fill yarn over in and through grab your yarn and come up Yarn over, in and through, grab your yarn and come up. Yarn over, in and through, grab your yarn and come up. And pull through all of those. Um, and then we are just going to slip stitch back along that chain. So one, maybe. Two, three, and four. And then seven single crochets across the front. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and just check that your legs are going to line up. You may have to move over one stitch and then chain your six. One, two, three, four, five, six, then do your little puff stitch of three. Yarn over, in and through, grab your yarn and pull up. Yarn over, 
in and through, grab your yarn and pull up, yarn over, in and through, grab your yarn and pull up. And I apologize if this isn't a proper um, puff stitch, that's just what I call it. And then you're going to do your um, slip stitches all the way down again. So one, two, three, and four. And then you should have eight single crochets across the back left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Now, you can leave him like this and you can um, stuff him up. And then you can just um, sew him across. You'll want to go over to the edge of your leg. So for here, there's one, two stitches left and then you can just sew him up for a square. Um, we are going to put, we are going to be making him have a little round bottom. So um, before we do that, let's maybe put on the eyes and the face. So I am just going to be using um, little six millimeter eyes. Um, they could be lots of different sizes. Um, depending on what you're using them for, you could also um, just put little googly eyes on or buttons, um, maybe if they're small enough. Oops, let's see what they look like. Or you can just embroider your eyes on. So I'm gonna put mine just kind of, so one, this is your top here, one and two rows down from the um, kind of even with the ears where they start. Maybe that one doesn't want to go in. Let's take the stuffing out. And then I'm just going to put the backs on right now. Listen for those clicks. Um, because they are tiny eyes, um, you may need to, if you're selling these or anything, or making them as keychains, or um, you may want to put a little warning on about the eyes. Um, and then we're just going to get some black to do the mouth. And the nose. So I started mine one row down from the um, from where I put the eyes, and you're just gonna go in around over about two stitches. So I came up here. I have a hole here, and I'm gonna come in here. Um, and I'm just gonna go through a couple of times. Maybe one more. And then I'm going to go down two rows. You want to make sure you stay fairly centered. I think I'm going to come up here. Two rows and in the center of the nose. And then I'm going to come up and over. And come back through that hole I just went through. And then I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. So I'm just kind of on the outside of the eye here. Right there. And then come back through that same hole. And 
And then you're just going to go up through that middle stitch you went over in the nose and come down out the back or bottom I mean. You can do this a new number of ways. Um, this just happened to be how I did it right this second. I probably did the other one a different way. And then you can just turn it inside out and tie those. Make sure you don't pull it too tight and um, change um, this tension in your face that you just made. And then if you have a scrap chunk of pink, we're just going to thread that on and we'll make some little cheeks. So I'm just going to come over in these two stitches, just one stitch over from the mouth on each side. Um, I don't think I want to do that a little higher. And just go in there about three times. So one. Whoopsie. Two. And then. Actually two might be enough. But I'm going to go three. And then just go over. To the other side. Careful not to catch anything in the middle. I might have made the mouth a little wide on this one. <clears throat> and then you're just going to do your three times or however many you did on the other side. So one. Two. And then one more time and down and out. And then just, you're going to tie that on. Give them a little clip. And fold it inside out. Now you can add your stuffing. And depending on how fat you want his body, that's how much stuffing you'll put in. So if you want him to be flat, more like a bean bag, you'll put a little bit of stuffing in. And if you want him to be like nice and fat and round, and we're going to do the bottom um, round, then you want to put a little extra stuffing in there. Okay, now we'll finish off his bottom. So if you are closing him up, don't forget, do your couple of stitches over and then you're just going to weave your ends um, back and forth through here and tie them off and close them up. Now if you're going to give him a round bottom so he can sit, we are going to go now in the back loops. So... Um, Normally, when you um, go through, you're going to go through these two. So, and then if you're going in their front loop, it would be this one. And if you're going in the back loop, you come down through the V and in the back one. So we are going to do one single crochet and one decrease. And we should end up with 12. So one, and a decrease for two, and then make sure you come all the way over to this um, stitch here, so you're just behind that first single crochet in front of the leg. So that's three, 
And we're going to decrease for four. Five. Remember to keep in the back loops. Decrease for six. Seven. And then around the leg. Make sure you're in this stitch behind your first single crochet. I've lost count now. I think this is eight. So eight is a decrease. And then nine. And 10 is a decrease. Eleven. And 12 is a decrease. Now, if you think you need to add um, extra stuffing, you will want to do it now. I might add just a touch. You don't want to add too much because you want this um, bottom to lay flat. And you, you don't want um, it to be rounded. So make sure you're not overstuffing when you add extra. And now we are just going to do six decreases. And we'll be going in normal way. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then you'll just slip stitch and then you'll tie that off with the knot if you're gonna make a little hanger um, like this then you want to leave a little bit extra of a tail if you're gonna do a keychain you can just um, Weave it up inside. Or if you're doing nothing, I guess. So we're going to thread this. And we're just going to weave our yarn in and out so we can close this hole up in the bottom. And then we'll tie it and pull it on through whatever we're going to do. Um, if you guys have any um, suggestions for another one of these I can do. So far I've just done the frog and the bear. Um, the bear's kind of been staring at me for a couple of weeks. And I finally had to um, video it. <laughs> So I hope this video is better than I think it is because I feel like I've just kind of rushed it and pushed it out so I can get on to something else. Um, but I've thought of so many animals, but I can't figure out how to make them know so. So like if, like if I did a dog or a bunny, I don't, I need these little bumps for ears and I need them to have arms and legs. So I can't do any kind of bird or penguin or anything. Um, maybe a cat. If I can get these to be triangly, but other than that, me and my daughter have gone through so many animals, and they're just not going to work for no so in this shape. Um, okay, so I guess I'm going to thread this up and through. So you, if you're doing um. A yarn one you want to make sure you get up in your middle stitches right there where um, the center is where you started 
And the best way for you to know that if you're unsure is all these stitches will be going this way and all these stitches will be going that way. Or you can count up an even amount till you get to the top. So he's just gonna get a little string. You could also make a chain here if you left your tail long enough. If you're doing it this way, make sure you get your knot right, right down. I can't tell which end is my, well, this didn't work, but make sure you get your knot down lower. I was looking in my camera and I shouldn't have been. And then you'll just bring this back through and down. Um, I might give him a little heart, so if you see something in the in the thumbnail of this video, I do have, if I do give him a little heart, I do have a heart video in, um, on my quick and easy playlist way down at the bottom. Um, but he might not need anything. He's pretty cute, just like this. Um, so if you like my videos, don't forget to, um, hit the subscribe button and then you will be notified every time I load a new video. I'm pretty sure I'm doing a cat, so you'll see when I do that. Whoops. And then also anything you see in the background here, is, there is a video for on my channel. You just have to click on my picture and that should take you there. I don't know what's up there. Should I? No, I can't reach. So thanks for watching and have a great day. And hopefully I see you guys in another one of my videos. Happy crocheting.